we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do uh, your weekly reading. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, I'm gonna burn some sage. Hopefully I don't smoke myself out. Let's see, Let's clear this out. All right, let's see what's going on for my Taurus collective. All right, let's see. Thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message. All right, Taurus, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. I've extended the 10 minute reading, it's $50 only. I have linked it in the top of the chat in the top of the comment section, so go ahead and take advantage of that. Um, something all of a sudden was over, you know, or sudden upheaval. I don't know if there's like a breakup. This could even like argument after sexual activity or before, I don't know. It's like um, maybe even finding something out after sexual activity. It's like somebody saying, well, I wouldn't have done that if, you, if I would have known that you were or you have or something of that nature. It's like, um, Somebody was in the dark and now it's all, you know, coming to light. It's all coming down or it's all coming down on somebody or the truth is, is being revealed. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or something about deep, something about going deep. Okay. Get y'all money out together. Um, like deep, like in terms of like emotions, okay. Deep emotions for someone, or I was starting to gain emotions for you. And then you tell me this now. Uh, something about raining on my parade, a cloud, uh, the, the relationship we were building, the situation we were building. Now it's like it's, it's all crashing down or it's coming down with this newfound knowledge. It's out of nowhere. It's spontaneous. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, it was somebody that maybe you were dating or dating. Somebody was trying to make you fall in love with them. It's like you're finding out that maybe you're not the only one. They have someone else. They're in love with someone else. It's like somebody was being real gentleman-like, real nice with you, but it was, you know, for reason, you know, so that they can get what they wanted. Maybe you're realizing this. It could be Scorpio. You got Scorpio coming up twice. Yeah, it's like somebody had ulterior motive. Oh, you had to question someone's motive because they were acting, the two of pentacles, like they wanted something serious, nine of wands, when they really didn't. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could you be getting express knowledge that somebody um, it feels different. Even though they told you one way, you're finding out the truth of the matter. You're wondering if you should even fight for this stupid ass relationship. I don't know. That's what I just heard. If you should just let it go. It's been too rocky, too up and down, too in and out, too drama filled. Uh, somebody is saying that they're changing or they're not doing something, but they really are. Or that they're, they're going to change, but they really are not. It's like someone will say anything to keep you in a place of staying in this. Just stick in it. Stick in it or stick it out with me. Yeah. The world card that could be used, Six of Pentacles. 
you may be wanting to put it into this stop to this maybe a stop to giving someone money time energy effort devotion um, you're waiting you're not you're no longer waiting for somebody to give you a little bit a little piece of page of cups like a little piece of or just enough um, maybe even a small apology or accepting whatever they're bringing and it's really a, a lot of nothing this is somebody's inability to change this is somebody's um, somebody's a liar manipulative um, they want to romance you so that you stick around or this is what you're doing Taurus someone found out that somebody was cheating that someone has someone else or that somebody's married what is this about what is this about what's going on the nine of pentacles could be dealing with a virgo someone's just hanging in there for the children or the child something it's two people who are together who are just acting independently they just do for themselves even though they're in a relationship or a marriage it's bad blood it's um almost hatred yeah eight of swords but someone doesn't see a way out uh they don't see a way out of this relationship or they don't see a way out uh, in regards to it coming back together or we being positive to one another yeah ten of swords the only way out is through it's either letting it go uh ending the relationship going to counseling letting the negativity subside uh coming to a place of healing and working together could be definitely dealing with a virgo or um this is you taurus queen of swords some of you want to make it work or you you may be asking someone who are you going to choose who do you want to be with you may be giving someone an ultimatum you want to hear their what they have to say the two of cups yeah you want to hear what they have to say about maybe this other woman the death card that they cut out this other woman they've cut out this relationship they've cut out this secret person um that maybe it was sex only yeah somebody wants to hear that they're no longer waiting for this person to come back or they're no longer giving to this connection somebody wants to hear that okay we're going to transform this relationship real fast and in a hurry we're going to you know bring it back revive it yeah the empress here could be you Taurus could be the other person let's see what is that hang on Okay, I'm more spiritual than you. That's our problem. Somebody's saying that they're more spiritual. They know more. I don't know what to say about us. Um, I just can't let go of the single life. Somebody doesn't want to let it go. Yeah, someone's like, we need to envision our future together. Uh, somebody does hardcore drugs. They have no plan to stop. Someone's praying for the downfall of your marriage or your relationship. Someone did spell work. Someone wants to come back to the relationship, even though they ran away from you. You'd be saying, not today, come with something new. It's like somebody is doesn't want to be in a committed relationship, but they don't want you to leave either. They want to come out of treating you unfair. They want to tell you that she meant nothing to me, I promise. Could be an older man and a younger woman. Someone has a girlfriend or boyfriend, but they want you too. Someone is not letting somebody go. Someone just keeps letting the ex, the ex come back. Yeah, I want you and I want you. Someone is coming out of chasing. Let's see what else is going on here for you, Taurus. It just looks like... Yeah, somebody's not taking responsibility. If you decide to stay, it's on you. I'm not taking responsibility for you being hurt. And that's how they feel. Let's see who you're dealing with, and then we'll close this out. Who is Taurus dealing with? Um, 
something that's complex, something that's irritating you and mystifies you. And maybe that's why you're asking this person, who do you want? What do you really want? You're kind of giving them an ultimatum. Chiron, you need to go do some deep healing or someone does need to do some healing here. Virgo, could be dealing with the Virgo. Um, the alchemist, this is somebody who's trying to do magic or done magic in order to get what they want. Someone who's taking action here. Sex and aggression, someone could be, you know, they like to have sex with you and maybe hope in hopes that you change your mind. Could be a Cancer. Um, could be a Scorpio. Could be someone who's the animalistic nature. You kind of like it. It's fun. The Cancer, the nurturing nature. Pisces, um, the mystic here. Um, someone who's selling you dreams or, you know, um, so, yeah, fifth house. Could be a third party situation. Somebody wants to know. And then there's you, Taurus. You want to know. Who are you choosing, me or the other person? Let's see what the advice is for you. What is the advice for Taurus? The high priestess, do nothing. Just stay in that inner knowing, that awareness. Listen to your intuition. But it says don't be active at this time. The queen of pentacles, ooh, there's somebody ruthless here. I don't know if it's you or someone else. They want you to know that there's somebody here doing magic, doing negative spell work they'll do anything to get what they want and then the nine of cups fell onto the floor anything to get what they want they're trying to make a relationship end they're trying to get someone to come to them and offer them marriage or commitment yep somebody's trying to take somebody's whole life marriage ten of cups ten of pentacles trying to get them to get this third party or the third party is trying to get someone who's married to commit to them Trying to get them to come out of a marriage. Causing somebody a lot of sleepless, restless nights. Someone's doing magic consistently every single day. This is what I have for you. It's like some, I don't know, somebody here is, they'll do anything to get what they want. It looks like there's, it's a feminine energy. She does play in magic. She is manipulative. Um, is this person doing magic? I know they are, but this person could be putting something in somebody's drink, food, uh, in the wine, the hangman, yeah, it's doing something behind someone's back, doing something and then waiting to see the reaction. Yeah, the ace of wands with the four of wands because somebody wants to have reunion. Um, they're fighting for what they have. So this could even be the wife fighting for her relationship because she knows there's another party, not a woman, causing trouble, stirring up trouble with her man, King of Wands, and she wants utter collapse, calamity, uh, this woman to go crazy, this nine of pentacles woman to go crazy, but ultimately leave her husband alone so that her and her husband can have reconciliation and work on their marriage. This is what I have for you, Taurus. Let me know if it resonates. If it does, go over to the website and book your reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then you can also, um, if you are a business-minded individual, sign up for the KTMG monthly conference call where we get spiritual and practical method on how to start, maintain, or grow your business. You get your own individual spells and uh, daily affirmations and mantras to do. Um, you also get practical advice in regards to business, uh, startup, and um, you know growth. And if you feel like you want to get one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, uh, business mentorship go ahead and sign up for the firstly the complimentary discovery call to see if i can even help you um and uh, yeah start there all information is in the description box the 50 dollars 10 minute reading is on sale take advantage many blessings to you take care